there's such a tiny percentage of the population who don't actually claim to, some, to have some allegiance to the Christian faith. Nevertheless, many people feel very reluctant to uh, be speaking about their faith. It's just simply that it's an awkward topic now because it's, yes. it's just not something that can be talked about in, in any sort of public but, but, context. But the, the, it's got to that because of a range of other factors in the culture. G'day and welcome to Clayton Today. I'm Rod Earnshaw and every program we're looking at a controversial or a topical issue from a Christian perspective. Today we're continuing our discussion about why believers find it hard to talk about God in public. And today we're going to focus on TV and broadcasting. And with me again is David Holloway, the Vicar of Jesmond. Hi David. Hi Rod. David, uh, last week we were talking about how it's become, well, almost rude for Christians to talk about their faith in public. It's the sort of thing that you can only talk about with your close friends and only you know, certain times. And uh, I wonder if today we can get to on to talking about the causes of why that is. So can you just briefly sort of summarise the causes behind that shift? Well, obviously the general secularisation of the culture in, in Britain at the moment is a significant factor. And probably one of the key factors is television in that secularisation. Mm. And obviously that's why we're interested in talking about television today. Yeah. So uh, what, what would you say is the, the influence of television on the, is, it, is it a secularised agenda that it has or is it more of a Christian? Yeah. What's the, no, no, does TV I mean, sit on that? Well, I think one of the big things, certainly from a Christian point of view, but from everybody's point of view, is that uh, up till very recently, well, we're talking about the mid 20th century, that family was the main transmitter of values and beliefs. Uh, but once television evolved in the 1960s, uh, that has actually taken over hugely mm -hmm. in the way ideas are spread. Mm -hmm. and, and in uh, terms of the sort of spectrum from, say, highly religious to completely secular. Where, where's television on that spectrum? Well, when it started um, in the Reithian era, that's before the war, it was Christian. I mean, uh, Sir John Reith actually said, the state of religion of uh, this country is Christian, therefore the BBC must promote it. After the war, Sir William Haley, he, uh, he said, we are seeking to actually safeguard and foster, promote of Christian values. Well, that's, so that's that was, that was Christian, yeah. That's different to well, what well, I actually, experience so, watching yeah, television yeah, quite. today. Well, well then the there was a sea change in the 1960s. And this was actually not just a reflection of the culture. This actually, many people would argue, did actually change the culture. Um, so Hugh Cotton Green took over as the director general. And he quite openly was um, non-Christian, atheistic. And he said that BBC was to be ahead of public opinion. And this did have a huge, a huge so that was a, impact. That was a shift from the earlier controllers of the BBC with a more Christian mindset. He now had a, a different mindset. Yeah, yeah. This, and, uh, and against the public opinion, was actually mm. pushing the culture. Mm. And that has had, mm. I believe, had very mm. great, uh, sig is a very great significance. So you said, you said earlier that one of the ways that, that things will change is people presenting a view, say, through a documentary mm. or whatever. Uh, is that, is that the, the way that TV influences things? Is it sort of just program by program, how well, does that change yeah, yeah, culture yeah. Well, over well, time? It's not actually your, um, the big programs which uh, you know, get all, the, all, all the, uh, the people writing in that really change things. Mm. It's the, the steady drip, drip, drip of values mm. on you know, the Archers or um, you know, East Enders or what have you. Mm. Uh, it's, that is far more significant overall, mm. the change of values through some of those quotes, more innocent programs. Mm. So you've got that going on. And um, the other thing is, the whole thing about television is, uh, it in itself as a medium can distort. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a distinguished documentary producer who said, to produce a documentary, you must come to a point of view, and then you think about who you're going to interview, and if you have someone mm -hmm. who will actually charm the, uh, with a charming personality, who will charm the audience, you don't actually use them if it's not supporting your point of view. Mm -hmm. And he said that by the time I finish the documentary, uh, the uh, people will feel about the issue or the program, exactly as I feel. Mm. So, so I mean, there is this sort of transmitting of values yeah. and beliefs through the, the yeah. medium itself. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's in fact, I mean, th what is in one sense sinister is that a journalist has huge power over what mm. people actually hear. It's a select, it's selected. Mm. I mean, one, it's called the Pinsky Principle. Uh, one one uh, journalist, um, mm. famous journalist said uh, that uh, if his research, uh, his journalistic instincts tell him one thing, but his political instincts tell him another. He says, I won't fudge it, mm. I won't bend it, but I won't produce it, I won't broadcast it. So 
I guess a lot of that is things that have happened in the past. Mm. Uh, you're suggesting there was maybe a turning mm. point uh, with you. Carlton Green, where, where did that go from there? What well, was the traje well, that well, set the trajectory? Why, having said that as the background, mm. the real issue, of course, is that the Christians and, and people with Christian views, mm. distinctly, were not allowed to broadcast in the sense that, one, they, if they did a broadcast, it was courtesy of the likes of uh, uh, you know, the Hugh Carlton Green establishment. But the, the law forbade uh, Christians actually having stations. I mean, certainly mm. um, the Broadcasting Act of 1981 um, meant that the only uh, area in, in British public life where there was a censor was actually religious broadcasting. And so that was, that was in the that was the, in, that was in the Broadcasting Act 1981. There may be no religious propaganda without the prior approval of the IBA. That's the so IBA other sorts of things, like these things that people were complaining about, pornography, that what sort of thing, you? they would go out. Well, there were, yeah, there were you, guidelines. You get in and if you afterwards. broadcast, you then get your yeah. numbers wrapped afterwards. And sure, if yeah. they were wrapped badly, you might lose your yes, license. But nevertheless, yes. there's a radical difference mm. there. And of course, that had a chilling effect. Mm. And also, Christians mm. couldn't own. Um, television stations mm. or, or channels uh, until 1990. That, that's a sort of, I, you're talking about a legal framework there. Yeah, yeah. Are there other sort of structural issues that, that have well, the of effect course, of squeezing well, of course, Christians if you've got, out if as you've well? Got, it's the people who commission programmes. I, mm. uh, I mean, to do a, a documentary, a good documentary, mm. it's, uh, in those days, you know, scores of thousands of pounds, if not hundreds of thousands mm. of pounds, uh, and certainly a series. And uh, who decides that? Mm. Well, I mean, and how, it's, how, it's, who it's does decide that? Well, what, there's what commissioning the editors in the BBC and the independent mm. companies uh, who've, with just mm. a few franchises actually given out, you know, mm. so you can broadcast. Those guys there determine what is broadcast. They're unelected. Mm. And obviously, you know, friends mm. choose their mm. friends. I mean, in one sense, that's not a plot. That's just mm. natural. You mm. know people mm. with those views and values you've got. Mm. And, and there have been actually surveys to show that journalists and particularly uh, it includes broadcast journalists, mm. their own range of views, like on abortion, euthanasia yeah. and so forth, is totally out of sync with the majority of the population. So uh, might, it may be helpful if we can bring some mm. of that back to the original question then. You've, yeah. you've talked about there's a, there's a change that's happened, mm. there's secularisation and leading public view in this yeah, yeah. particular direction. What has been the overall effect of all of that on the ability of Christians have to speak about their faith in public? Well, it, it, what it does is it, it, it gives this sort of overall kind of taboo almost about speaking in public about uh, religious issues. I think it's changing now and dare I say it, that's probably due to the increase uh, uh, of Islam uh, where you know people are much more uh, ready to speak about their faith because sadly of terrorism and so forth. People argue about religious matters more mm -hmm. and so that I would say it's a very sad that it's come about mm -hmm. that way and it's a pity that Christians actually haven't been able to be on mm -hmm. the leading edge of that mm -hmm. but I think that is changing it mm -hmm. but if you've mm -hmm. got a, a sort of overall background noise as mm -hmm. it were of secularism through the media mm -hmm. through the electronic media particularly they, and also um, you know people do take believe it or believe not what they see on television as mm. true, mm. sadly, what and, and real. I mean, what is televisable is real for many people. So, just maybe to, to move that forward a little bit, then, if, if that's the case at the moment, uh, you said mm. there, maybe things are changing a little bit. What do you think that that Christians can be doing to help move that thing, move that along, to make positive changes? Um, well, I, I think uh, they can watch Clayton TV because uh, <laughs> here is a, mm. uh, a station where there will be an alternative worldview. Um, when there's something that is very distorting, very biased, or something that obviously is plainly straightforwardly obscene and, dis and, and mm. blasphemous in the worst sense, uh, to complain in, in, a, in a sensible way to Ofcom, mm. go to the Ofcom website mm. and uh, make a comment. Um, and, and actually, uh, I think uh, at some point there ought to be a challenge to the BBC with the licensee because uh, the BBC in one sense is a world leader and uh, th they broadcast some wonderful stuff, mm. I know. Mm. But the fact is they can do that because they're subsidised mm. and they've got a guaranteed income by the licence fee. And I think that if they, are, they cease to be representative of many people in this country, we really need to challenge the licence fee. So does fee. that suggest that that should happen through courts, through politics? What, what do you... Um, just, yeah. uh, well, obviously, um, through, the, through the ballot box is the easiest mm. way. And if, if people, I think, make clear that some things are not, um, uh, you know, are not in order enough, mm. I think the message does get through in our own culture. Mm. I mean, just at a, a simple level on religious broadcasting, I mean, at the moment, um, uh, it is a free country, we know, mm. and, and everyone's free to for believe uh, as mm. they, they, they choose. But you have a Muslim head of religious broadcasting in a country mm. where uh, you know, I think we've mentioned this, uh, well I've already said that there's 70% say they would be Christian, mm. 
that's not to say they're church going, but that is the worldview mm -hmm. that they would prefer. Mm -hmm. And yet the, the determinant in religious broadcasting at the moment, the person who determines religious mm -hmm. broadcasting, is actually a Muslim, which represents about 2 or 3% so of the David, population. So David, we're coming to the end of our time. Just yeah. a question for you. Are you positive about the future for well, Christian Well, I, I think all is changing. Um, uh, it will be changing, or it, it is changing, because of the coming together of the internet, trust of broadcasting, really television, We are out so of time. Forth. And thanks for joining us, and do join us next time for more discussion on Clayton Today. Goodbye.